this video, we'll cover the steps for setting up your restaurant and taking your first payment with Square. On squareup.com, click sign in and enter your email and password. This is your Square dashboard. Let's start by creating a menu. In the navigation, select items and menus, menus. From here, we'll click create a menu. You can import your POS, use your existing categories, upload your existing menu, import your menu, generate a custom starter menu, or start from scratch. Let's give it a name, like lunch, and select which locations offer this menu. If you have multiple locations, you can manage menu availability across them by clicking Edit. You can also manage where the menu appears across your online sites and any other ordering channel that you use like point of sale, kiosk, delivery apps, and more. You can manage hours for your online and kiosk menus by selecting Edit and updating accordingly. Next, add your menu groups. This is a group of items like mains or appetizers and click Save. Let's add our first entree, ahi tuna salad, and select any menu items that fit in the mains category. Hit done. This is what your menu will look like in the app, but we'll get to that later. You can also click edit POS layout to preview and customize your menu right here from the dashboard. Now, let's add modifiers to our dish. In the navigation, select items and menus, items, and then modifiers. Click create a modifier. Let's create a new one. We'll call it lunch sides. You can choose a preset list modifiers or customizable text modifiers, and then enter in the individual modifier names, kitchen name, price, online availability, whether or not the modifier is preselected, and stock. There are a few options, but will require a modifier selection and toggle on Use Conversational Modifiers on POS. Let's apply this modifier to our salads. Click Apply to Items, then select the salads, and then hit Apply to Items. If you are managing a bar, QSR, or other type of restaurant that doesn't use floor plans, then you can skip this and move on to the next chapter. If you'd like to set up floor plans, in the navigation, click Settings, Restaurant Settings. From the drop-down, select Floor Plans, and then click Create a Floor Plan. Let's call it Main Floor, and select your location. Within the Floor Plans, you can create sections by clicking Add New Section. We'll start by creating a dining room with five tables. If we select a table, it will add it to our floor plan. We'll set them up to match our restaurant layout. Let's create another section for our patio with four tables and set them up as well. This looks great. It's time to add our first team member. In the navigation, click staff, then team, team members. Next, click add team member. You'll need to enter first and last name, contact, and employment information. Next, assign a job, say as a server, and enter your pay details. Next, assign their permission set, and give them a point of sale passcode, and click Next. Review their details, and then click Done. The final step is setting up your point of sale device. You and your team can sign in using a unique 12-digit device code. Go to Settings, Device Management, Device Codes, and click Create. Enter the number of device codes you need, select Point of Sale as your device type and location. Next, you'll select a mode to assign your device. Modes are a collection of customizable settings used to configure your point of sale devices to fit their specific needs. There are a lot of settings, like receipt, tipping, seating, floor plans, and more. For now, select the pre-configured full service mode. You can customize your mode settings later and select from the restaurant modes like quick service mode and bar mode. Give your device a name like main POS and click create. This is your device code. 
To make note of it, you'll need it to log into the Square Point of Sale app. Once the app is downloaded, open it and tap Sign In. Tap Use a Device Code, then enter the device code that you just created. Log in with your employee four-digit PIN. And look, here's our home screen. If you are managing a restaurant without floor plans, you'll see the orders or menu screen here. Otherwise, floor plans will act as your home screen. Next, let's create our first check. Tap Menu from the bottom navigation panel, and then tap Name and Notes to add a check name and internal notes. If you have floor plans set up, select a section, pick a table, and number of guests. Now, here's our menu. Let's give them an ahi tuna salad. On the right-hand side, tap the modifier set, and let's add a side roll. If you've assigned this check to a table, tap Seat. In this case, your customers are sharing, so we'll make it for the table. If you do not have a table set up, you can skip Seat Assignment and just tap Send. This will print a ticket for the kitchen staff, if you have a kitchen printer connected. Nice job, you've created your first check. Now, our table is asking for the check. Regardless of what type of restaurant you are, you can access all checks from the Orders tab. If you're a full service restaurant, tap Floor Plan to see the table with the open check. Next, tap the table, then Print. If your receipt printer is connected, it will print the check. When guests are ready to settle, select Pay, then tap Dip or swipe the card and add the tip amount from the check. To learn more, visit squareup.com slash help and search keywords or select a topic like orders and view a list of support articles for food and beverage orders.